welcome back to my channel. We are currently in my new craft room. I'm so excited, guys. This is not an episode, a regular episode, by the way. Um, this is still technically a moving vlog, even though we're already moved in, but I'm not situated enough where <laughs> I, I had time to work on, on some of my projects and set up my, my new YouTube nook in my, in my new craft room, so we're, we're still getting a little situated, but I thought, I thought I would sit down, pop in, and catch you up on where things are, how things are going, and they are going very well, I'm happy to report. So thank you so much to everyone who wrote to me, left comments on, on YouTube and Instagram, just congratulating me and Dennis on our new house. It, guys, it's like night and day, night and day. Uh, I am I'm so incredibly in love with this house, this neighborhood. I, I am just, we, we are just so incredibly happy and it's been a journey, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, just to give you a little perspective, uh, you know, Dennis and I have been thinking about moving out of the city for quite some time, but it wasn't until I wanna say like mid pandemic then, that we were like ready to pull the trigger. So we started going to a couple of open houses here and there, but we didn't get serious about looking for a new house until I wanna say, uh, uh, middle of last summer. So after at that point we were just going to all the open houses and this place in particular um we, the first time we saw it um we put we put kind of like we did at that point we really didn't know what we were looking for. We were just kind of, you know, we we liked this place, but we didn't know that it really ticked all of our boxes until much later down the road. So we we kind of put a lowball offer down on this place and then of course we lost it fell in love with another house, put an offer down on that, and anyway, it, it just, it became like a kerfuffle and the, the sellers were being really difficult, so we lost that place. Lo and behold, this place comes back on the market and we were like, the one that got away, we're, we're not letting it get away again. So <laughs> we jumped on it and here we are, guys. So anyway, yeah, it's it's been a journey and we, are, we could not be happier, so. Uh, yeah, we, you know, we're settling in nicely. The move went so smoothly. I mean, of course it was very stressful, but we moved on Friday. The movers showed up, I want to say about like nine o'clock and then we were completely moved into this place by 3 p.m. So yeah, it just went off without a hitch. It was great. Um, but yeah, we, this whole past, since then, you know, it, I, I have not stopped. I have not sat down. I have not had time to craft, hence why I'm not doing a regular episode. Um, I have nothing to show for. So, but in the meantime, I thought I thought I would just kind of take you around the new the new craft room and show you how things are progressing. Uh, again, this is not the finished product. I'm still settling in, trying to figure out where everything's gonna go. I definitely want to paint this room, do things to it, do wonderful things to it. But in the meantime, this is kind of a working title, if you will. So, um, you know, the rest of the house, I promise you, once we are all settled in, a full house tour is coming. Uh, the Dye Dungeon. <laughs> the Dye Dungeon is truly a Dye Dungeon. If you thought my last Dye Studio was a dungeon, hmm, oh my friends. The Basement. That is where I'm going to be dyeing yarn. Um, I talk a little bit more about this on the Monday Waffle, you know, my, um, my bonus vlog that I share with members of the YouTube channel which you can join, by the way, by clicking on the join button right below this video. Uh, every every week you get a bonus vlog from yours truly. But anyway, yes, I, I discuss it at length there, um, but it needs a lot of TLC. So I have a makeshift dye studio set up in the basement, and then there's like a back room to the basement that we're gonna finish, and that is going to be my official dye studio once it's all said and done. But on the main floor, there's a garage that the previous owners converted into a sort of workout area. Uh, that is gonna be my main office where I'm gonna process the yarn, where I'm gonna scheme things, label things, ship things. Uh, that that office is a dream. It's a dream. It's light, airy, uh, and I will show that to you as well. But yeah, let me, let me take you around this room. There's, again, there's nothing much to write home about here, but this is it, guys. <laughs> this is my new craft room. Uh, yeah, again, still setting things up, but just to give you a general idea, um, it is around the same size as my last craft room. Uh, however, this slanted wall right here, the dormer, it cuts out a lot of real estate. So I am losing a little bit of space, but honestly, it doesn't bother me at all. But I like it because it creates enough shade for when I'm editing uh, photos and video. Uh, it's It actually serves a really nice purpose, so yay bonus. Um, but yeah, I have this desk jutting out here because when I'm cutting out fabric, I have my cutting mat set up on it. This is an Ikea desk, by the way, and this cutting mat that I purchased, I think 
think I purchased on Amazon, I forget, but it fits perfectly, it fits perfectly on this Ikea desktop. So yay, that, that worked really nicely. But yeah, I left it kind of jutting out so I can walk around and you know, if I'm cutting out fabric, it just makes my life a lot easier. Does she look familiar? It's Margo the Mannequin. How you doing, Margo? And she's actually wearing this uh, antique Victorian bodice that I've uh, been storing in my closet safely, I may add. But um, yeah, I pulled it out and dressed her up and you know, Anyway, I just felt like dressing her up, but here she is. Um, this corner right here is going to be my new YouTube nook, I think. I can just plop my camera down, leave it there, and hit record when I'm ready to record something. Um, so there's that. And then this shelving unit right here. Uh, this you may recall from when I was recording in my basement. Uh, during the pandemic when Dennis was working, you know, at home in his office, we were really cramping each other's style. So I moved my studio down into the basement and got this shelving unit for practical purposes and just also, uh, you know, just to dress the place up a little bit. Um, and you might notice something missing. Uh, yeah, my ginormous Ikea shelving unit. Yeah, let me tell you about the Kallax situation. Um, if you recall in the last video, I mentioned how I was a little concerned how I, I, I wasn't sure how the movers were gonna get that out of my craft room and out of the house. They had to disassemble the entire thing. It was just so big they couldn't move it. So, um, you know, they, they did all the work and they were ready to assemble it here when it was all moved in. But after setting everything else up, I just realized that it would just cut out too much space. So right now it's in the attic. I don't know if I'm going to set it up. I, I may, I may just not do it. Um, yeah, I'm a little bummed about that, but at the same time, I, I think, you know, it, it was too much. It was inviting too much clutter and I am a huge clutter magnet. So if there's space to put things, I will put, I will put things in that space. So, so we're sticking with this shelving unit for now. Um, but I do think I need another bit of storage right here in this corner. It'd be nice to have just kind of like a, a storage trunk. Um, so that might be coming. And then my sewing desk guys, my sewing desk. I am, I, I am just so beside myself. I love the fact that I get to sew and look out the window and see trees and birds and ugh, guys, I, I can't even right now. It's just so, so lovely. Um, and then Yarn Fortress 1.0. <laughs> the Clocks was, was 2.0. This is 1.0, the, the OG. Um, again, right now it's just storing a bunch of stuff that I don't know what the heck to do with. It's all gonna come together at some point, but she's here, she's on an angle, and I think it, I think it really, you know, complements the space. It's a work in progress for sure, but um, I, again, I wanna paint these walls, I don't know, maybe just like a bright cream color, and then this wall right here, I wanna wallpaper it. I wanna get some William Morris wallpaper, <laughs> treat myself, and just, you know, give it a little more personality and, you know, dress it up just a little bit. Uh, and then I have another closet right here. Dare I show you what's inside? Because yeah, this is all stuff, all crafts, all miscellaneous crafts. I have embroidery in there. I've got um, sewing, all, all of my garment sewing notions are up there. I've got some extra batting. Again, where these are situated, it's still like <laughs> temporary because I, I, need, I need a better solution in here. But anyway, we've got camera gear um, and then just bags that I moved stuff in. I just shoved them in there for now. Uh, but yeah, that that's that's the craft room. But right off the kitchen, right in here, is my office. I'm so excited. Um, so we're just gonna come down here. We've got my crazy monkey skeiner, and then my desk over here. And I have such a soft spot for French doors, guys. I absolutely love French doors. They're they're my favorite. We had we actually had French doors at our Greenpoint apartment, um, and I I freaking love them and I miss them to death. So I'm so glad we have them here. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I dyed some yarn last night. Uh, these were dyed in the basement, the temporary dye dungeon. I was experimenting last night and came up with a new colorway. This may just be a strange brew that I'll, I'll name after, I don't know, I think I'll name it after something in Brooklyn because it kind of looks like graffiti. Looks like the graffiti that you'd see in Bushwick. We'll see, we shall see. So yeah, that is a little sneak peek of the new Volenvine HQ. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And yeah, it's again, we're, we're still settling in, but the dust, the dust is settling. So 
um, we are we are making progress. Uh, Bella, Bella is doing great. I don't know where she is right now. She's probably sleeping on our bed. Uh, she handled the move really, really well. Uh, you know, she's settling in nicely as well. Um, you know, it was it was a little stressful for her. She was really confused when we let her out of her carrier when we when we finally moved in. Um, you know, because you know, she, there were so many things that were familiar, like our furniture, but the space, like what, what is happening? You know, she's, she's adapting really well, loving to have so much space to roam, loving all the windows. Uh, she only, she only really had my craft room window to look out of at our last place because we lived in one of those uh, row houses. It was, you know, just a rail, it was like a railroad style apartment where you have windows on one end and windows on the other end and there wasn't really any sunlight in the middle save for like a skylight but you know it, it, I felt I felt so bad for her but now I, I'm just so happy she has like all of this space to run around and windows to look out of it's yeah it, it makes me so happy I am gonna let you guys go I've got a lot of work to do today I've got to dye yarn <laughs> as usual um, I was hoping to have a shop update this week but I don't think it's in the cards. Uh, I've actually got to run to the post office. I have to set up a PO box and just continue to keep unpacking and organizing things. It's it's craziness, guys. I never I never want to move again. This is I <laughs> hopefully this is it. Thank you so much again for hanging out with me. I will be back next week with a real episode, a normal episode. Hopefully I'll have my little YouTube nook set up and ready to go and, and all that good stuff. So anyway, if you're new here, welcome. I'll leave some links in the doobly-doo down below for you to check out the normal format in case you're curious. But yes, I highly encourage that you like and subscribe because I'm putting videos out for your viewing pleasure every week. And until the next one, happy knitting, happy making, and I'll see you next time.